Hey guys, Quag and Quasar here, back again with another Mass Effect Andromeda video. And in this video, we're going to be playing as the Human Sentinel, another class that I have not played as yet. And I thought I would jump into a match with him now on my new favorite map. This map is awesome. I, like a noob, though, I forgot to change my weapons to the ones I like. So we're rocking with the freaking Avenger assault rifle and the uh, the Katana shotgun. I don't mind the Katana shotgun. Pretty badass, actually, as you can see. Oh my god, I'm already getting killed. Pretty badass, as you can see, but the uh, Avenger Reading assault rifle line. is pretty crappy. Damn. I was not focusing on what I was doing. Let's see if this guy will get me up. There's a guy playing as the freaking Angara, one of the, the new race, one. one of the new race dudes. And uh, I, I just looked at what, what he looked like, what his character looked like. Jesus, they're like freaking beasts. They're like the same as the Krogans. They're absolutely huge. I really don't like the Avenger Assault Rifle. I know you could probably upgrade it and put, what, was he just floating on top of me then? I know you could probably upgrade it and put like mods on it to make it look, to make it better. I think I've upgraded it. I think it, it so I, I think they upgraded the cells actually. Cause it says, uh, Avenger 2 actually on it, so I think it probably upgraded itself. Um, but I don't know, I don't, I don't like it as much as the Matok. I also don't know what freaking powers we've got as this dude. We've got something on right trigger, I think that's like a, a sentinel pull. We've got something on right, we've got like a throw, I think that's throw on left bumper, right bumper is like pull, like a sentinel pull. Uh, LB and RB, what is it? Oh wow, it's like oh, okay, they showed that in the freaking in the trailer, it's like a, a sentinel shield. Really cool, it is really cool. The Sentinel, for anyone that's wondering, is kind of like a biotic slash tech expert. They're like a hybrid between the two, I guess. Very cool, they're very fun and they're interesting play style because you can sort of uh, play to both ends, play to biotic, play to the biotic side, but also play to the uh, the engineer side. You've got some tech, um, you know, some tech foundation to it. And as you saw, I got like a tech, uh, attacked like sentinel sh shield around my shoulders when I got shot before I don't know if that's just for show or if it means that this guy can take more damage than say a soldier or a, a vanguard I don't know, but I'll try and uh, I'll try and get shot and show you guys the what exactly what I mean Let me just get shot shoot me <laughs> just to, when I want to be shot. They don't shoot me right Will you shoot me, please. There we go. Can you see it on my shoulders that really cool thing? Uh, I'm that's not a power I can activate. I thought that would be like a power I can activate like in the, uh, the previous games but No, it's not it's something that uh it's something that just sort of gets activated when uh, people shoot me. Which is cool. And like I said, I don't know if it's just for show or if it affects how much damage I take. I'm willing to bet it's probably not for show. Uh, I'm willing to bet it's probably, uh, it probably does affect how much damage I take. I think that thing I've got on left bumper is, in fact, throw. Um, I haven't played as a character that's got throw yet. And I think the one on right bumper has got to be... Uh, that's got to be like a pull. Like a pull with sap shields, I think it is. And the one on LB and RB, it's like I said, it's a shield before, but you have to refill it. You have to come up to the ammo box and refill it. It's like a refillable thing. Very cool, though. That is really cool. I wondered what class would have those. It is actually very, very cool. Yeah, that's like a, a sentinel pull, the one on right bumper. See, look, I'll go up to look at the thing down at the bottom, the LB and RB symbol. I'll go up there and it fills up to two again. So it's like a refillable ammo thing, which is kind of cool. It balances out a little bit. You're not always going to have, uh, you know, unlimited supply of it. But then again, actually, I think if it had a cooldown rather than being able to just go up to the, the ammo box, it would probably be a bit of a bit more of a balance. But I doubt that shield's super, super, you know, OP. I know they said obese then. No, I don't think the shield is obese, but I don't think it's OP, like overpowered. I think it's uh, probably just a bit supple supplemental. It would be very good to rock it down. I was about to say rock it down on an objective and defend that objective, especially the evac zone as well, which I plan on doing. So if we just like put it down here, very good for the entire team to sort of take cover behind. I assume the other team can, the rest of the team can uh, take cover behind it as well. I like what this guy's got on right bumper, like a, a, a sentinel tech based uh, pull, sentinel tech based pull ability. That's pretty damn cool. I just realized my shield disappeared. I wasn't even paying attention to it. There we go. Yeah, that, that's that's throw and we've got like a sentinel pull. That, I really like this, uh, this guy actually. I'm still yet to really uh, upgrade any to the point where I can really, really enjoy the the um the powers and abilities i still enjoy them they're still awesome but on none of the classes that i currently have have i upgraded them enough to be like super super really good and then for them to fill out their the, you know their true potential in terms of the powers and like the the uh, the level of power that the uh, abilities can show especially the biotics they are just insane all of them are insane though it's so well done in this game it really is well done for example in mass effect one it was great and everything but really the best uh, like class to play as was the soldier and that was simply because uh, you couldn't use like proper guns uh, like you couldn't use heavy armor or assault rifles or anything or snipers 
if you uh, were if you were like a biotic and adept in uh, Mass Effect One, you had to be restricted to pistols. I think it was pistols and some machine guns. I think. I know Vanguard was restricted to shotguns and pistols. You, you're very restricted in the Mass Effect 2. Same sort of thing, you were just less restricted, and the Mass Effect really took away the restrictions. It's good that uh, you're not... Uh, it's good that you're not restricted anymore. I think they learned the lesson of Mass Effect 3, having people, you know, being able to play their own way and be the class that they want and use the gun that they want. But yeah, my point was... Uh, there was, you know, they've, they've really improved the class and they've made the classes really awesome. They're so well done on this. They've certainly learned from not even past mistakes. They've just improved it. It was amazing in Mass Effect 1. Even in Mass Effect 1, it was uh, freaking amazing, but they've just made it even more amazing. It's like every Mass Effect game is like the pinnacle of gaming uh, for the generation it comes out in and for like the few years it comes out in. Even like now, Mass Effect 1's like the pinnacle of gaming. It really is because it bro broke so many... Bro, so what the hell? He's pinging around all over the place. I think that's a lag switching using he, that that uh, NPC is using the lag switch. Even now, Mass Effect One is just like an incredible piece of uh, technology. Even to this day, they, they all hold up so well. Anyone that plays Mass Effect Andromeda or plans on playing Mass Effect Andromeda, if you haven't got the trial and hasn't played the original Mass Effect, you should definitely check them out. All right, we have jumped back into another match. The freaking host lagged out or something. It god damn the the freaking host servers or whatever you call them the servers on this are not up to spec they really aren't at the moment a uh, guy in the comments one of you guys said that it's it's because the, uh, the host probably had a bad inter internet connection or he's from like somewhere foreign like a foreign country i'm obviously in the e in the uk i don't think being in the us would make a difference but being in like a properly foreign country you know like eastern europe or something i think that might make a difference and uh, that that guy said in the comments that it's 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 the, because it's peer to peer, it's a peer to peer server or whatever you call it, and that's probably why a lot of the lag happens. I hope they sort it out in the uh, in the future because it's basically like half my videos where it's like I have to edit round, freaking lag and edit round all the freaking game lagging out and start another match. But anyway, we're back in another match. It didn't give me the chance to switch out my weapon for weapons that I like. I've got the uh, in incisor uh, sniper rifle. We have obviously joined a match in progress, but oh well, it's cool. We are not too late into the match. Wave 5, but it's early wave 5. As I was saying, anyone, I remember what I was saying very clearly, anyone who has not played uh, the original Mass Effect, but is planning on playing this, definitely play uh, the original Mass Effect. You get it with EA Access, you get all three of them with EA Access, by the way. So anyone who's playing this by EA Access right now should definitely hop on and play uh, play the original Mass Effect games first before at least before they start the uh, the campaign of mass effect and drama you, you got it you really have got to do it they're so good and they deserve time and it, you'll understand a lot more behind the uh, the story and if you've already got ea access you don't have to pay anything for them they're free that guy went freaking flying oh my god there he goes oh i'm gonna try and get the kill i stole the kill off my teammates but i actually learned what the uh, the this uh, the, the ability that this guy has on right bumper is it's just energy drain i thought it was like a energy drain type uh, energy drain type uh, like Pull, but it's actually not it's just energy drain it's as simple as that but it's, it's good i am really liking this character again another guy that goes into into battle with that helmet but you know i can't judge because i don't do many battles in real life so I, I don't really know what i'm talking about but i'm really enjoying this play style the play style behind this character and his arm looks pretty damn good like look at the, the i've got the neon oh damn space dogs these goddamn space dogs i'm really uh, loving the, the look of this this arm especially with neon green and uh, like fuchsia purple always go well those uh color colors do Let's see if we can get him with oh he's got armor onto it didn't work crap i put it down the wrong way oh well oh well let me over the frick oh i'm stuck someone's freaking behind me get wrecked i really like this weapon though this weapon that i'm rocking with the inside is the sniper rifle it's actually got more damage than uh it's got a little bit more damage than the uh the matok assault rifle and it's it's obviously more accurate and it's got a higher rate of fire it's actually a really decent weapon probably my favorite weapon in this game so far, I really do, like I said in other videos, I think I said it earlier in this video, I really want to try out the Revenant Assault Rifle. I'm guessing that's going to be a freaking beast, but I uh, haven't got it yet. Oh, crap. I can't even help that guy. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I can't even freaking help that guy. I can try and uh, take some fire off of the guy that's helping him, but Jesus Christ. In fact, I'm going to put my shield down. There we go. What are you going to do now? Oh, yeah. Freaking giant robotic punk. Oh, crap. I'm doing my best to uh, drop this guy's shield. Oh, no, this is about to go. I'm going to pop another one down, see if we can... Uh... Many thanks. <laughs> Many thanks. I wonder who said that. Was that my guy? I don't know. I wonder where the weak point on this, these things is. Maybe it's like the Cerberus. Oh, yeah, it's the fuel tank at the back. That is so the weak point. 
That is so obviously the weak point. Uh, they're very similar to the uh, Cerberus Atlases from uh, Mass Effect 3. Very similar to uh, those, and they've got... Oh, crap, Sniper! They've got a similar weak point in a similar place as well. I do not want to drop down right now, because there is all manner of robotic death beneath me. Get wrecked! Energy Drain, sap some of his... Uh, I think Energy Drain gives you some of the shields that you sap. I think, I, I, I believe that was in Mass Effect uh, 3 as well. It's a very, very useful ability. And uh, once you level it up, once I level it up, I think it's going to be like a beast. I think it's going to be really good. Oh, crap! Oh, crap! Got a oh, Pariah. Goddamn sniper. Goddamn sniper. Oh, crap. I'm about to get wrecked. Oh, look at this little MLG hiding spot down here. Look at his beautiful bald head. Look at the pixels on him. So sexy. Oh, my God. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Get wrecked. Is he dead? Are you dead? Yeah, she's dead. Is that person dead? Yeah, I think they're all dead. Good. That's uh, always a good thing. All right, let's hop over here. Wave 7, extraction, extraction. I'm actually going to put in another match after this because I feel like we haven't had enough uh, content. We haven't had enough uh, action in this video. So I'm going to put in another match after this. Hopefully I won't lag, lag out. No, I said lag out then. Hopefully I won't lag out then. What the hell is surrounding this person? Uh, but I am going to put in another match. Hopefully it'll be a full match as well. Get wrecked. I wonder if uh, energy drains is one of those abilities that you can hold down and it, it makes it more powerful. I don't know. I don't know, motherfucker. All right, let's see if we can... Uh, Take this guy out. Get wrecked. I love this sniper rifle. It's definitely better than the Matoff, in my opinion. It's got crazy recoil on it. It really has. It's kind of hard to control the recoil. But other than that, it's very good. Oh, crap. Low ammo. I don't even know where the ammo is on this map. Crap. I know there's one bit of ammo over here. Oh, no. He needs help. We need my help, sir. Do you need assistance? There we go. Teamwork. Teamwork. I'm going to move away from this freaking explosive barrel, though. Jesus, that's not very, that's not very good idea. Yeah. There we go. He kind of did. Right. These guys know what they're doing. Oh, goddamn space dog. These guys clearly know what they're doing. They're not uh, rushing in. They're uh, they're not rushing into the evac zone. They're staying back a bit. Get wrecked. See if we can hold this. Oh no, you can't hold it. It's not a holdable ability. Sadly. Get wrecked. Oh crap, more space dogs. They've returned for revenge. No, I'm trying to help you, bro. Sorry, I was reloading. Right, I'm going to put my shield down. It looks like we're holding down here. It looks like uh, this team's a pretty pretty competent team, though. So it's all good. Baby, baby. Oh, good, baby, baby. Oh crap, look at that beast up there. I haven't got... I really need to get... What I'm going to do is I'm going to get a, uh, a gold pack. I mentioned it in my other video. I'm going to get a gold pack. Oh no, no. We're going to get partial extraction. I'm going to buy a gold pack, a, a gold chest. So I'm saving my points, otherwise I would have bought an equipment chest and uh, got loads of like Cobra missiles. But sadly, I do not have Cobra missiles available. Oh crap. Well, as much as much freaking damage. I just saw a dog fly, a space dog fly over the back of him then. Oh no, I'm about to get snipped, snipped, snippy snapped. Is it gonna be full extraction? Oh yes, full extraction. Yes. Oh, I don't know what the difference in XP and rewards are when you get a full extraction and a partial extraction. But we've got a full one. I haven't had a full extraction in a couple of videos now. That's very, very freaking good. It's like I went backwards uh, in terms of, uh, you know, I got loads of full extractions when I first started playing this game. Now I'm getting less full extractions, more partial extractions. But we're actually going to jump into another match because there's not been enough action and not enough space dogs have died in this video. So we'll see you guys in a second. All right, we are back in another match. You guys have no freaking idea how long I've freaking spent trying to get into another match. I've joined a bunch of matches in Brogus that have lagged and lagged me out before I could even get through a freaking intro. And, uh, the, oh my god, it's so annoying. One thing that's really annoying is the servers. I hope they're not like this. It's because of, like, the host peer-to-peer -peer servers, like I mentioned before. If one guy, if the host has a bad connection to the internet, uh, to his internet connection, or he's just really far away from the other people, um... It affects everyone else, and if the host leaves, it affects everyone else. It's kind of annoying. I hope it's it's not as crappy as that in the release. It's really not the game's fault. A lot of the time, a lot of the time, it's when people are playing with super bad internet connections, which obviously they probably can't help. But um, I've got to check. I was checking if it was lagging, then that's how freaking that's how much of a hard time I've had. But uh, if someone, if like the host's got a bad internet connection, it will affect everyone else, from what I can tell. And the servers are not doing great right now, at least not for me. And my internet connection is pretty damn good. It is annoying. I've been trying so, so freaking hard to get into a an, another match. I've been trying so goddamn hard to get into a, another match, but it really hasn't been uh, working. Finally, I'm in. I'm hoping this doesn't uh, doesn't lag out too, because I'm on wave one. I'm hoping this doesn't lag out, so it's like a full match. 
for you guys because currently in this video I haven't had a full match. At the end of this video, whenever I can freaking uh, get around get around to getting through an entire match, I uh, will be opening a gold pack. I check my credits before just before I join this match. I will be starting up uh, like a. I will be opening a pack and opening a gold pack. I'm hoping to get a. Uh, a good character or a good gun, hopefully the Revenant or the uh, the, the Revenant gun or the uh, the Krogan Vanguard class. They're two things that I really want. I'm just going to have it as like a bit of a send off at the end of this video because I'm opening it anyway. So uh, I might as well throw it in the video and I don't really want to make a whole video about pack openings in unless that's something that you guys want, which I don't think it would be. And I find stuff like that extremely interesting. Do any oh, to be honest, oh crap, I'm tapping, I'm tapping, I'm tapping. Oh my god, it feels so good to finally get into an, a, a match. I, I do hope that the freaking... This, it, it's not as bad as this, the servers and the, the multiplayer connections aren't as bad as this when the game uh, when the game releases. Every time I'm, I'm getting anxious now that the game's going to uh, lag out when I'm playing. Sometimes it's perfect, honestly, sometimes it works perfectly and then other times it... Uh, I get kicked out. Like I've tried about four games trying to uh, trying to get get a freaking uh, full match, and a lot all the times it's lagged out. Even the only the only game that didn't lag out was one that was already on wave six. So I was going to be in for like one one wave, and then that would have been the rest of that would have been it for the video. And I don't want that. I want to give you guys a good video to watch. So uh, I left that match. Oh crap! Got a, uh, these guys are crazy looking. They're really they're insane looking. Can't wait to see them in the uh, the, camp the the story in the campaign. I don't even remember what I was saying prior to when it started lagging, honestly, so I can't even uh, freaking uh, continue on with what I was saying, sadly. Oh, well. Uh, I'm sure it wasn't important anyway. <laughs> Maybe it was. I don't know. Right, where are these guys? I can see them on the radar. All right, they're up here. Freaking floaty little demon things. At least we're not fighting space dogs. Goddamn space dogs. I'm rolling with the same gun and everything. I haven't changed anything between... Uh, between Matches crap get wrecked. I'm, I'm bugging out I Haven't changed anything between matches really currently all I can think of uh, to sort the, the lag out is Really only to play a custom game on my own or play with people that I know are in my region Such as you know my friends. I've actually mentioned that I'd be doing a video with them soon I mentioned that in a previous video. Uh, I think that's I think it's when people like who are in Russia or something play the game Or maybe it's just because they serve the game bogged down uh, because everyone's found out about the EA Access trial by now and they're all getting on and all playing it, which is fair enough, which is fair enough. Maybe Bio, I didn't anticipate such a huge, uh, you know, player count. I don't know what the player count is like. It should be uh, every person in the world because this game is absolutely awesome. I just wish, uh, the, the, the only letdown so far has been, it's nothing to do with the gameplay. It's just been the, the lag so far is the only letdown or like the, the connection issues. But once that gets fixed, I doubt that will be in the full game because the Mass Effect 3 nice server and the Mass Effect 3, uh, you know, connection connection type seems pretty, like, largely the same uh, in terms of, like, the way it works and everything. And that works fine. That still works fine. Five years on, half a decade on. So there's no reason why uh, this this uh, server shouldn't work. This game server shouldn't work. Right, let's drop down here. I'm really liking this class, though. I've had plenty of experience in about, like, four, five, six... Uh, semi full matches like just two waves in each match. I've had plenty of experience with this Going in and out of this freaking match. Let's just kill this creature. I really like the gun as well I'm definitely gonna be rocking with this gun more often. I'm gonna put one of these things down. Hopefully be able to uh, block Block them from coming in here. Let's shoot him through. Get him! Get him bro! Get him! Fuck him up. There we go This gun's awesome. It really is. My favorite gun so far. Once I get the Revenant, I don't know what will, what my favorite will be. We'll have to find out how good the Revenant is. Have we, uh, no, we haven't downloaded this, uploaded this, uh, data yet. Alright, come on, man. Right, we did it. Oh, crap. Correct. Pretty good at close range. Obviously, it's hard to aim at people at close range because you got a scope on this gun and everything, but you can just sort of burst, like, tap it and like that. And because it's, like, a, a three-round burst, it's quite good at burst, like, quite good at close range if you need it. Alright, let's just pop a, uh, throw. Damn, I missed. God damn it. Get wrecked. Those things are freaking. Those beam rifle things are freaking amazing. One thing that I have. What the hell is that guy doing? He's just floating mid air. I think I think his hover packs were keeping him up. One thing I've noticed is um, in Mass Effect 3 you have like a massive variety of uh, playable characters. Whereas in this you have a lot less 
characters to play. Like, in Mass Effect 3, you have, like, the Collector Adept, which is one of the most badass characters of all time. And you have, uh, you know, like, the N7 Paladin. You have a massive variety, whereas on this, you have a much smaller amount. To be fair, though, on Mass Effect 3, there was, like, a much smaller amount of uh, playable characters until they brought out the free DLC and uh, added loads of characters via that deal dlc hopefully they'll do that with this i'm guessing they will no reason to assume otherwise i'm very much looking forward to the new maps and the new characters one of you guys said in the comments thank you so much to you for letting me know because i didn't know this but uh, one of you guys said in the comments that uh, the maps all the dlc is actually cons confirmed to be free all of the uh, all of the multiplayer dlc is actually going to be free which is awesome which is so cool the campaign dlc likely won't be if uh, you know previous, and if Mass Effect 3 is anything to go by, the campaign DLC costs, which makes sense. It's the biggest part of the the game, uh, but the multiplayer DLC, the maps and stuff, are all going to be free, which is very cool and very awesome. And Bioware. Oh crap! I'm getting lagged again. Please do not lag me out. God damn it! I need to pray to Jesus or something. Don't lag me out. Why are all these guys? I wonder if these guys are in a party or something. They're all like rocking down there. I don't know. I just hope. I hope to God it doesn't lag. But at the end of this video, whenever I do actually manage to get a a, a decent sized bit of content in for this video uh i will be oh crap that's who was sapping my goddamn shield i will be doing a, a gold pack opening at the end of this i'm hoping I, like i said i just i might as well put it in a video because i want to do it anyway i'm hoping for a uh, a character my, my ideal character would be uh the the krogan krogan vanguard and my ideal weapon would be the revenant heavy machine gun i want both of them but I, I don't even know what other weapons there are and what other characters there are i'd really like to play as the uh, the one of the new race the uh, angarin uh characters that would be really cool as well uh but they're ultra rare i think i think they're rare or ultra rare i think they're ultra rare but it would be so cool if i got those those guys look beastly they look absolutely huge as well they look massive like nearly as big as krogan's i saw someone else playing as one of those uh, and i saw well i saw him in the lobby and uh, you know when you see the character at the start of the match and he looked absolutely huge he looked massive Maybe it was just like the, the depth of like how close he was to the camera, but he looked massive. He really did. Right. What wave are we on? We're on wave four. I'm so anxious that it's just going to lag out, but hopefully it doesn't. Have faith, my friends. Hopefully it doesn't. Get wrecked. God, that, freak, that freaking thing looked like a, an actual demon in flames. Yeah. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. i got to be careful. Why are these guys like chilling out? Oh, my God. What the hell happened there? I got freaking stuck on a wall. That was freaking goddamn annoying. Are these guys going to come up and help me? Yeah, they are. Good guy teammates. I don't know why they're chilling out down there. Maybe they're all in the mics together or something. This guy playing as a... Good one. I think that guy might be playing as an Umgar. They're, they're in the mics together, maybe, or in a party together. Maybe. Maybe they're just using game chat. I'm going to follow the lead. We'll all uh, stick down here. I joined a, a match before. One of those matches that I uh, lagged out of. Actually, no. This was a match that no one was readying up. Uh, there was guys like level 16, which is crazy. Like, I haven't, that, That's like the highest level I've seen someone... Considering you only get 10 hours with this, unless you uh, do the way that I, I mentioned in a video where you get longer. If a lot of people won't know that way. Um, so with only 10 hours to get to level 16, that's crazy. You must be only playing as that character or something. Those are like a level 13 and then a level 1. but the, And then it was me, level 3. But those, it was crazy. I saw their apex rating and it was like mid... It was like 1,500. My apex rating is like 500. By the way, if any of you guys don't know what that is, it's sort of like a rating of how much experience you got, I guess. Uh, how, how, it, you know, the more games you play, the higher it will go up, essentially. And the more experience on the game you have, the higher it will go up, again, essentially. Oh, oh my god, damn. When are the destroyers going to come? I know when it's lagging out, when I don't get hit marks and hit the enemies. Currently, that's not happening, but when, for any of you guys that want to know, whenever you don't get hit markers, uh, when you hit an enemy, that's when, you know, it's lagging out. Or the host is having problems or something. It is annoying because, like, if a host host's internet connection is bad or, or for whatever reason the host has problems, connection problems, it affects everyone. Which is annoying. It's an annoying way of doing it. Hopefully they uh, finesse it a little bit more before the uh, full release of the game on the 21st of March. Oh, my God. Wow. I'm going to stick down here with my teammates. Seems like they're doing the right thing in uh, holding back. This freaking destroys it. I haven't even got any... Uh, Cobra missiles. Let's try and put some damage down on this guy. Correct. I don't know what level these guys are that I'm playing with, but these clearly know what they're doing. They, I don't think any of them have gone down whilst I've been playing this match. Great. Oh, that guy's just like bugging out. Oh, crap. Grenade. Oh, no. It's one of those goddamn reach, reach of things. Yeah. Get wrecked. Oh, he's got a weak point. I guess they have like a weak point in the chest when they shoot. I don't know. Those guys are freaking warping tanks. It's so tough. 
God damn it, they're coming down here. I'm gonna actually bug out of there. See ya. Get some ammo on my way out. Oh, there's an ammo box over here. Okay, that's that's convenient. There's another one here. They give you so much ammo. It's ammo for days. I think these guys are in a party or are in game chat. Obviously, I can't hear them because I'm in my own party, so you guys can hear my voice. Um, but I think these guys are working together. They seem to be moving around the map together, which is something that I want to do uh, with people. Like I said, I said in a previous video, if anyone sees this and has Xbox One and uh, has the trial, or even for when people get the full game, definitely add me on Xbox Live. My name is the same as my YouTube name. Add me on Xbox Live, and uh, I'm really, really looking forward to playing with other people. I would love to play it with some of you guys. And I've got other people that uh, want to play as well. Uh, some of my, uh, my friends. That's going to make some pretty cool videos. Oh my god, I just nearly fell straight through there. No, there'd be no punishment. Thankfully, the game doesn't punish stupid like that. Uh, it's just falling through off the, off the map, which I tend to do a lot. A lot more than I should, really, doing videos. But not other YouTubers, just going to make for some fun moments. Which I'm looking forward to. But like I said, again, would like to play with some of you guys as well. So definitely uh, hit me up on Xbox Live if you have Just Xbox One. Crap! Got freaking nullifier and observers. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Let's see if we can uh, throw him. I got that armor. Oh, got a lot of damage. That was a freaking tech combo. Tech combine. That was good. This map is so good. This, this game is so good, honestly. It's so good. Can I sap that thing there? Can I? Oh, it's not letting me. Uh, what the hell? Freaking cryoblast over there. I'm gonna get up on here because I got a sniper. I'm gonna post up on here. We're into wave six now. So it's gonna start getting intense. I really, really wanna play a silver level uh, a silver level match before my uh, trial runs out. Before I have to go in for another use the method and, and go, you know, extend the time. I really wanna do it in the, within this ten hour trial and then play a silver match at least a silver match maybe even a gold match i don't think any of my characters are good enough look out for the video because i'm definitely going to try my hardest to uh, get on a silver match and not just get you know get killed instantly get wrecked up on uh, there no i don't think you can i'm gonna stay up on the rooftop because uh, i've got a sniper i'm useless close range and there's a lot of cover up there as well and i don't think the destroyers can actually get up there i think what they're so slow though so even if they did um, you'd be able to outrun them pretty damn quickly. Oh crap! Oh crap. Take cover. Take cover! Get wrecked. Just throw that guy off. Get safe. Crap! This is getting pretty intense. I think we killed the, yeah, we, it's the assassination phase, but uh, we already killed the guy that we needed to kill. That guy needs help. Oh my god, there's a destroyer. No way I can get to him. I can try and help out a little bit, but there's no way I can get to him on my own. Crap! Oh my, that's his weak point. When he's about to shoot, that is his weak point. Very, uh, very clever weak point, um, if I may say. Oh, let's throw a freaking throw of that. Oh my god. What did I just do? Why did I do that? Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh no! I'm about to get wrecked. Something's bugged out. There's no nothing even on me. Look at what's happening. What? I was taken down by an observer. All right down. then. I freaking bugged out. What the hell? If these guys are gonna come over, I'm really far away from them. I hope they do come over. There's no way to really call them. Like some games, you you know press Y to call your allies. Please, please come over and get me. Doesn't look like anyone's coming over for me. Nope, they're just gonna leave me to die. You freaking goddamn traitors. Oh, someone's jumping. Someone's coming, but it's not gonna be quick Squad enough. Oh, down. he just got downed as well. Two people left. Oh my god. Are we gonna get to. Yeah, we can. Uh, I think we can. Alright, we can spectate, which. Uh, oh, he's down. Oh crap, he's on his own now. That was kind of my fault because the guy went down. Oh yeah, look, there's two freaking destroyers. Highly unlikely he's gonna be able to beat these guys unless he uses a. Yep, oh, he's dead as well. I was gonna say, unless he uses a Cobra missile launcher. That was kind of my fault. I don't want to tell them, but uh, that that guy that died after me died because he was coming for me. Uh, and then and then uh, that guy, another guy followed and tried to re re resurrect that guy. That guy's that, that little robot thing's teabagging him. What the hell? Those things look insane. But yeah, a guy died trying to resurrect me after I died, and then a guy tried to resurrect him after he died. And then that guy just got annihilated by an entire horde. Wow, that was my fault. Mission fail. Idiot Qui Gon, but I am gonna, still going to be doing uh, opening the gold pack. I'm actually going to cut to that, so I'll see you guys in a second. All right, so we're in this store now. We're in the pack store now, and I'm just look, before we open the uh, the expert pack. I'm just looking at the premium pack. You get 20 of those freaking things. They're worth a hundred thousand 
multiplayer credits. You get 20 of those if you get the Super Deluxe Edition. The Super Deluxe Edition costs a bomb, but the fact that you get 20 of those, you get one each week, like I mentioned in a, another one of these videos. It wasn't actually Mass Effect game, Mass Effect Andromeda gameplay. I was using Mass Effect 3 gameplay, but I was talking about Mass Effect Andromeda, and you get 20 of those. I found out, I've said to you guys, you get 20 of those. That is insane. And uh, look, five random items or characters, including at least two that are rare with a higher chance for at least one ultra rare. That is crazy. They're crazy valuable. I guess there is some value to the uh, the, the Super Deluxe Edition costume bomb, but we're not going to go for that because I haven't got 100,000 credits. But how, wait, first off, how, how much would it cost to get 20 of those with the in-game currency? I'm terrible at maths, but it would cost a lot. That bots, that's 2 million maybe? I don't know. Um, yeah, that's that would be 2 million. God damn, that would be so expensive like you need 2 million in-game credits and I got 63,000 god damn but anyway we're gonna buy the uh, the expert pack now I'm not gonna do like one of those over the top like reactions like oh my god I just want to see what I get I thought I'd throw it in at the end of this video browse cards okay then oh wow Rosa what the hell Rosa rad F flip card a deadly cat mach submachine gun with plasma surrounding projectiles the Rosa rad's firing rate increases with every shot Although clearly designed for cat, the Rosarad translated to infinite fire appears to incorporate technology from other species, perhaps an ally or cat vassal. Wow, that looks really cool. I'll definitely, uh, definitely gonna show that in the next video. Actually, that'll be cool. Have we not? Oh my god, we didn't get a god. Oh, we didn't get a character. I was hoping for a character. Oh well, we got a really cool uh, pistol. So that's good. All in all, pretty good. Uh, pretty good pack from what we got. One Cobra RPG. We got some ammo. Uh, we'll get some uh, boosters as well, but the, the guns that the, that the best part. I'm probably gonna do that, uh, show that in a video in my next video that I record. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. That will be that will be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. I would really appreciate it, and it would really help me out. And if you want to see more of these videos, hopefully no more of this goddamn lag that keeps kicking me out of games. But if you want to see more of my Mass Effect Andromeda content, I'm gonna be putting out more Mass Effect Andromeda content than any other person on YouTube. So definitely stick to this channel if you want to see more of uh, more Mass Effect Andromeda content. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.